Hello everyone, Nick Wood here with Movement Life and today we're going to go over a little uh, dynamic joint mobility drill for the feet. I love starting my mobility from the feet. It's how we move, it's how we get around and the better motion we have at our feet, the more efficient the rest of the body is going to work. So what this is, is this is called a flexion and extension wave. There's a couple of key points before we start out. Let's get a quick anatomy of the foot, see what we're going to actually stretch out here. One of the main points is going to be our plantar fascia. The place at the bottom of our foot, it starts at our heel and flares all the way up to our toes. Then the next point is going to be our toes and the bones within our feet. All this is going to be uh, mobilized here. But what we really want to do is we want to target one specific spot for this. And that spot is our toe joints, okay? Every single one of them, all five toes and all the joints including with them. So what you want to do is, the reason why you want to have a target for any mobility drill you do, or any exercise in that case, is now you, if you target that, it will become more effective. So if you're not passively going through an exercise, you're actively thinking about it, you're focusing on it, and then it makes the exercise that much more effective and helpful. So what we want to do is, if need be, you can always hold on to a wall or a pole or anything for support, but eventually we want to be able to do this on one foot. Being able to do it on one foot will give us better balance, better coordination, and a little better uh, proprioceptive ability. Uh, proprioception is the ability to know where you are in space. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand on one foot with our one of our foot. We're going to start with the left here. Six to eight inches off the ground, you're going to do both feet, so it doesn't really matter. And what you're going to start with is your foot's going to be right out in front of you, and you're going to curl your toes down. I want a nice, tight arch at the bottom there. And all you're going to do is you're going to point your toes all the way to the ground. Once you get there, at the furthest point, you're going to pull your toes right back up. All right, let me show you from the side here so you get a better angle of it. So nice and curled at the top, point them all the way down. Once you get to that maximum range of motion, you're going to flare them all the way up. Let's try this two more times. Make sure we're standing up nice and tall here. Excellent. So now what we're going to do, you can take a little break if need be, we're going to go the opposite way. What we're going to do here is we're going to point our toe down, curl our feet in, and come all the way up. Then when you push down, your, figure, your toe is going to be nice and spread out. Try that three to five times on both feet. It will help you prevent injury so you can enjoy your outside, you can stay out there, you don't got to be trapped inside because of a nagging injury of the foot. If you need more information, you can always follow me on nwood90 on Instagram, Nick Wood on Facebook and YouTube, and you can also email me at nickwood18 at yahoo.com. You're always moving. Might as well move well. Nick Wood, Movement Life.